Children, stop running. Was it? Sister Houston, are you okay? Working with children is definitely not your strong suit. Especially that Brandon Smith. He tests the patience of Joe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. no. You go on. We'll take care of the children. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> she sat on that boy. <laughs> You know, I am such a good cook. Smells good. Oh. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh. Mm. So good, you make you want to slap your mom. Mm. Oh, oh, funny. <laughs> you know, oh. I was going to smack you oh. like Big Mama did Martin oh. Lawrence in that movie, Nothing to Lose. <laughs> what about those legs, huh? Hey, what about those legs? Hey. Do not put me in the middle of this fight. I didn't already lost one battle this week. I didn't see you in church again this morning. Oh, you know, I caught it on the radio. Okay, let's set the table. Okay. Let us bless this food. Father, thank you for allowing my beautiful family to partake in our Sunday dinner once more. A family that eats together and prays together stays together. Bless the hands that have prepared this food. Amen. Amen. I didn't see you at service this morning, Faith. Ah, uh, yeah. What happened with you and the Smith boy? He just confirmed for me that I don't need to be volunteering for the youth ministry. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, 
Nothing, sweetheart. You know, you've just never been that good with animals or children. Mama! Well, I remember the goldfish that we got that died every time she walked into the room. <laughs> Angela, leave your sister alone. Thank you, Daddy. You know, John, you spoil her. Well, if I don't, who will? Speaking of which, when are you going to find yourself a good man and make me some grandbabies? First, I'm not good enough to be around kids, but you want me to have grandbabies? First, you got to get a man. Daddy, um, I'm moving to Red Springs, Texas. Excuse me? You're moving? Honey, what, what is a Red Spring? Honey, uh, uh, let me handle this. I think you need to explain, sweetheart. I think that God is trying to tell me this is my calling. God? Really? Shut up, okay? This is some kind of a joke, right? I'm dead serious, Daddy. Don't Daddy me and talk straight, young lady. I heard it as clear as you guys are talking to me right now. Ain't this a blip. So you don't believe me? Well, sweetheart, it's not that we don't believe you, but you don't go to service but once a month. And then you leave five minutes before the benediction. <laughs> you know, this is the reason why I didn't want to tell you guys in the first place. Because I knew that you wouldn't believe anything that I had to say. Now hold it. Don't forget who you're talking to. And let's talk this through. When Maxine Johnson moved to India because God sent her a message, you guys threw her a going away party and you, you basically raised her $10,000 for her trip. What makes me so different? First of all, she was a devout Christian. She never missed a service. She was on the mission board. Uh, fed the homeless. She fed the homeless and she used to read to the sick. So basically you're telling me that because I don't go to church every single Sunday, God won't speak to me? No, sweetheart, that's not what we're saying. What we're trying to tell Listen, you... What did God tell you to do in Red Springs? He told me to go to Red Springs and work with children at a hippotherapy farm. Hippotherapy? <laughs> you don't even like children. Sweetheart, do you realize how huge those animals are? They will trample you to death. Mom, I didn't say hippopotamus. Hippo is a Greek word for horse. It... You know what? <laughs> Forget it. I know you guys wouldn't approve or understand. I understand Greek, hippo, horse. I get it. What is she talking about we wouldn't understand? Well, while you're talking to God, you can ask him about finding you a husband. God. I don't know why you chose me, but you did. I know I'm not crazy. I know you sent me a message. So I'm just gonna ask that if you could just send me one more sign so that I don't have any doubts, but I promise you, I will trust you. Just one more sign. Hey. What's up, Tika? <laughs> so I'm trying to get through payroll. How was your weekend? Crazy. Got in a fight with an eight-year-old boy at church, and to top it off, got in a bigger fight with mom and dad. Who won the fight? Which one? The eight-year-old? Mm, I did, but that little snotty-nosed, smiley-faced kid held his own. Closest I've been to a real date in a long time. You're silly. Mm-hmm. How was your weekend? My brother's best friend swept me off my feet. I literally mean swept me off my feet. Do tell. Some things you just can't explain. This is one of them. Uh, uh, come on now. <laughs> Not until you tell. Uh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Saturday night, mm -hmm. my brother sets me up on this double date with him and his best friend. Long story short, I drank a little too much oh, cool. and I slipped. Stay with me. So I'm heading down to the ground. Next thing you know, these huge arms engulf me. Oh and lift me up. There's just something about being in a man's arms. <sighs> you hear me, right? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought I was going to melt. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You're a bad girl. I love it. Go away. You're going to get me in trouble. I'm going to get you in trouble. Faith, can I see you a minute? Uh, yes. God, you're going to get me you in trouble. I'm not going to get you in trouble. Yes, sir. Can you process this for me, please, and get a check out today if you can? Absolutely. Shane, could you t 
Tell me why you decided to donate to this particular charity today. I just happened to answer the phone this morning, and the next thing I know, I committed to a $1,000 donation. Wow. I'll get this out today. Thank you. I need to talk to mom and dad. Are they here? Yeah, they're in the living room reading. Are they still upset? Are you still leaving? Yes. God really spoke to you? And I got confirmation today. Good job. Well, sis, then I'm on board with you. <laughs> then have my back with mom and dad. Ugh. <laughs> Get a room. Hey, this is my house. Now, if you don't like me canoodling with my wife, then there's the door. So what are you doing here? I wanted to talk with you and Dad. About? No, no. Let's hear her out. Okay. I know you both don't approve of me moving to Red Springs, but this is something that I have to do. Honey, how are you going to survive? I have over $2,000 saved. Faith, that's not going to last you a month. I should have a job at Steps of Faith by then. Faith, have you forgotten that you don't even like animals? I know this is hard for you both to comprehend, but I got confirmation today at work. Well, what do you want from us, sweetheart? For you both not to be upset with me. Faith, if this is your calling, then what does it matter how we feel about it? Are you going to move? even if we don't give you our blessings? Yes. Okay. Well, then there's your answer. I'm leaving on Wednesday. Wait, wait, wait Faith! Are you two just gonna let her walk out the door? You sit in service every Sunday. But because your daughter is following the voice of God, you're ready to shoot the messenger. <laughs> you know, I might just have to rethink this whole religious thing. I mean, I sit in service every Sunday. I feed the homeless, I help take care of the elderly, but I... I've never actually heard God's voice. Not once. Angela. You're too young to understand. Save your breath. Save. I'll see you. See you later. Say, wait. 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 Pastor Brooks, Sister Faith is here to see you. Oh, Faith, how are you? Hi. Uh, before you get started, I have a couple things I need you to sign for me, please. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What can I do for you? Well, Pastor, uh, I'm not even really sure if you will believe me. Well, don't try me. I now know what God wants me to do. He revealed it to me yesterday. Mm hmm. Well, I was a little taken aback. You said that you were thinking that I wouldn't believe you. No. But I am in the believing business, you know. No, but Pastor, I, I'm sorry. It's, it's not that I don't... Actually, it's just I wasn't even sure if I believed it myself. I mean, but I got confirmation today at work. And what was the revelation? God told me to move to Red Springs, Texas, and work with children on a hippotherapy farm. Well, I heard about you and little Brandon Smith. Look, Brandon got all of the toilet paper. I'm just kidding, just kidding. How's the deacon taking? Not so well. <laughs> Not well at all, actually. You know, just be patient. He'll come around. I hope so. You know, God puts these obstacles in our path so we don't go around feeling like saints. I have to admit, Pastor, I'm, I'm scared. Do you have time for a little story? I would love to hear a story. I love your stories. <laughs> When Claire and I first moved down to Dallas, we had 1,400 bucks between us. She was pregnant with our first child, 
and God told us to move to Dallas. I had so many people telling me that I should move down here first and then send for Claire. And by people, I mean Christians. And I said all that to say this. Follow your heart and God's message. You have my blessings. Thank you, Pastor. I taught a young pastor that finished the theologian school, and I think he would be a good shepherd for your transition. Okay. Now, Faith. Mm-hmm. Don't sit on any of those children down here at the hippo. <laughs> I won't. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. She sat on that boy. Working with children is definitely it, not it, your it, strong suit. Well, and what does it matter how we feel about it? This is some kind of a joke, right? First value of the man. You're gonna find yourself Baby, a good you've man forgotten and make that you don't even like animals. Honey, how are you gonna survive? Are you gonna move, even if we don't give you I a blessing? I should have a job at Steps of Faith by then. Be disciplined. Follow your heart and God's message. have your own apartment. Oh. Rent is paid up for like the next six months. And you are the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Now, let's get one thing straight. No matter what happens in Red Springs, I get to keep this apartment, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm oh. not coming back, all right? Oh. I'm really gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. I hope you come visit. I will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are they still upset? Yes, but they'll come around. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, uh, I guess I better get out of here. Okay. Will you call me when you get there? I will. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Go. All right, get inside. Oh. Oh. I'll see you later. All right, I'll call Bye. you. I love you. Bye, I love you. I'll ride with the horses I'll swim through the sea I'll climb to the mountaintops Won't you come and follow me? I'll take time to Yeah, girl, I made it. I just got in. Uh, about, I don't know, maybe about an hour and a half uh, from Dallas. Maybe about an hour and a half, hour 45. Yeah. No, that's my stomach. I'm hungry. Yeah, OK. All right, uh, I'll call you later. I'm going to go grab something to eat real quick, OK? OK. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. 
Love you. Bye. Forget it. I'm going to eat. Where can I get you a drink? Sweet tea, please. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I suggest that chicken fried steak is the best in Texas. You know what? I'll take that. All right. How about some loaded mashed potatoes with green beans? Yes. Chicken fried steak loaded. All right. Be right back. Thank you. Hadn't seen you here before. You new in town? Uh, yeah, is it that obvious? <laughs> yeah, you stick out like a sore thumb. I'm from Dallas. Oh, well, let me be the first to welcome you to RNS. I have to remember that. RNS. Yeah, you got any family here? No, I'm trying to get a job at Steps of Faith. Oh, that's cool. Sounds like your food is ready. <sighs> Autism. All right, chicken fried steak, Ooh, the best in Texas. Wait. Look like the biggest in Texas. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy it, all right? Thank you. Let these boys on now. Come on, baby. Come on. Just let the horse do all the work. Nice and easy, okay, Dan? Hi, I'm Faith Houston. Hello, ma'am. Marshall Lee. Ah, nice to meet you, Mr. Lee. Well, everybody around here calls me Marshall. I will call you Marshall if you stop calling me ma'am. Oh. Makes me feel old. Faith works. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Well, I just as a ranch is called Steps of Faith, and you I, just, I just said Faith meant works. that my name is Faith, so you know you can call yeah. me. No, I'm I'm sorry. I no, I get it. Uh, well, how can I help you? Could you tell me who I need to speak to about applying for a job? That'd be the silver-headed lady in Corral Three. What is that god awful smell? Oh, well, that sweet pungent smell. That'd be the smell of horse manure. Seems like that's all I shovel these days. Yeah, well. I wouldn't want your job. All right. All right, man. Oh, uh, by the way, the name is Belle. Thank you. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Hi. I was told you were the owner. If you're selling, I'm not buying. No, 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 I'm not selling anything. I didn't think about how I was gonna say this until just now. Darling, I shoot straight, and I expect people to shoot it straight to me. Okay. I was told by God to come work on your farm with your children through your hippotherapy program. <laughs> You're joking with me. No, 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 no. Did Marshall put you up to this? Uh, Mar Marshall, Marshall, right now. No. What's your name, darling? Faith Houston. Faith. Where are you from? Dallas. I packed up everything that I own and moved to R&S yesterday. And what exactly did God tell you to do? Told me to do what you are doing right now. <laughs> this is all a little too cuckoo for me. I have to get back to my client. We're not taking on any new staff right now. Check back in six months. But God told me, God told me that I... <laughs> You're having way too much fun, Jan. <laughs> Mm -mm. Give me my tip, though. See you later, Nicole. I'll see you tomorrow. You back? Yeah, I ran into a brick wall. What brick wall was that? The owner wouldn't even let me through the door. 
I don't know what to do. <laughs> yes, you do. You gotta knock the front door down, honey. Now, if you want that job, you gotta get it. Maybe some food to help you feel better. We got some chicken fried steak again. Want that? Mm, no, that's a little too heavy. The uh, meatloaf is good. It's really good. Can I just have a plain, old-fashioned, regular cheeseburger? <laughs> yeah, that's good. With the works? Yeah, with extra pickles, mayonnaise, mustard, onions. <laughs> Hush, girl. <laughs> OK. What about a drink? Give me a Coke. All right. Jean, heart attack special. Keep your head up. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for a church that has Pastor Olsen. Pastor Olsen? <laughs> hey there. Hi. I assume you're Faith? Yes. Pastor Olson? I am. You want to get rid of these? <laughs> sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you know that you're white? You know, I'm actually quite perceptive. I picked up on that. <laughs> so I assume Dwayne didn't tell you I was white? No, he kind of left out that little mm. tidbit. Well, I can recommend an African-American church. Oh, no, 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 no. I go to white churches all the time. Nice, nice. You know, you will fit right in. Yeah. <laughs> On a serious note, did Pastor Brooks tell you about my situation? He did. Do you think it's crazy? No. Let's get you inside. We'll uh, meet the staff, get a new member packet for you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, have you been out to... Oh, Faith, this way. You're going the front door, usually. Thank you. So, have you been out to uh, Steps of Faith for me? Um, yes, but I didn't get a warm reception. Huh. Oh, that's Belle for you. I'll be nicer. <laughs> if you're nice. I mean, if you're not nice, then I, I can't promise anything. You're back. I'm a glutton for punishment. Bell's not around. She's out riding right now. But you're more than welcome to hang out here and wait for. That's Mel. How do you stand it? Get used to it after a while. Is this what you do all day? Nah. I work with the children a lot. But since there's nobody to clean out the stalls, well, that falls on me nowadays, mostly. Yeah. So you keep Marshall from his work? No. I was just looking for you. The answer is still no. I'll do anything. Darling. Faith. OK. Faith. We have a lot of work to get to. So if you would please just leave the property. God told me that I was supposed to be doing this. Well, he didn't tell me. I'll be back every day until you hire me. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. She likes me. Thank you. 
Stalk much? No! No! Not I'm stalk people! No, I'm just out taking in the town. Well, I'm just saying it looks like you're following. I'm not following. Now why would I be following you? Because you need a job. I'm just I heard about this uh, real place because I need a place to live. I need to find a place. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I'm just saying because my mistake. Oh, hey, uh, Marsh. Uh, just. Just one question. What's that? How can I get Belle to hire me? Why would I want to tell you that? Because I really need this job. All right, you know what? Maybe I'll tell you if you admit that you were stalking me. I wasn't stalking you. Well, okay, you that you were following I me. I, I was. I, I was trying to get a place. Okay, I was following you. Bell? Be at the barn, 6 a.m. Make sure you can wear something you don't mind getting dirty and smelly. Why do I have a feeling I'm going to regret this? I'm going to leave you a note. Look for a note. Okay. Morning. You know, I didn't actually think you'd do it. It'd go a lot faster if I stopped throwing up. You didn't give me this job so that you could stop doing it, did you? Well, <clears throat> you asked for an opportunity, and I think this will definitely get Belle to notice you. I think I'm going to be sick. Too prissy. That turns Belle off. She likes people who can roll up their sleeve and get the job done. Hmm. You're right. I can do it. Well, you showed her that uh, you're persistent and get the job done. Got a hand to you. You have tenacity. I'm willing to do anything to prove to you that I wasn't lying. I never said you were lying. Job pays seven and a quarter an hour. You want it? Yes. It's from sun up to sundown, five days a week. I'm your girl. You need to feed and water the horses. Brush them down good every night. You think you're cowboy enough to do that? Yes, ma'am. Just bell. Faith. Your journey begins today. She is exactly what we need on this farm. <laughs> I'll give you ten to one off. You alive in there? You okay? I hurt everywhere. Um, I'm sorry, but you really got to speak up. I can't hear you. I can't move. <laughs> well, yeah, that's some uh, real hard work you were doing. 
What are you doing here? I figured you might be exhausted and didn't have any time to stop and eat, so. Bought you a little something, something. Thank you. Do I have to get out of the car to eat it? No. I mean, it's really nothing fancy. Just a burger and fries. Ugh. You are a lifesaver. Soda. <laughs> Thank you. You worked your tail off today. That says a lot. Thank you. But to be honest with you, I quit about 20 times. I just couldn't muster up enough energy to go tailbound. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? It's either going to get better or get a whole lot worse. But I think in a couple of days, you'll be a pro at it. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> let me, uh, oh. let me walk you to your door. Oh, I don't think I can walk. You serious? I can barely get in the car and drive home. You stay right there. <clears throat> what are you doing? All you have to do is uh, oh, I can't give me your key. It is. OK, 110. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> you didn't tell me it was going to be this Ooh, hard. This might take all night. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here you go, here you go, here okay. you go. I got you, I got all you. Right. Put your arms in. There we go. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, How's that? Uh, a little better. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh. Come on, get in here a little bit. I'm watching how you've been uh, dealing with the horses. And you got to connect with these horses like you do humans. All right? I have to admit, I don't have a good rapport with animals. It's OK. Neither do most of the children that come here. Yeah. Ain't that right, Buttercup? See how I'm stroking them? Mm-hmm. Touch them. I want you to come on the other side. I want you to do the same thing. Ah, uh, Marshall. I... Come on. Don't worry about it. I won't let him bite you. Come on. There we go. There you go. <laughs> nice and easy. <laughs> my heart is beating so fast. Ooh, I feel like it's going to jump out of my chest. Take a deep breath. See, when your heart's racing, of course, they can hear it from at least six feet away. There you go. Just breathe. Where What are you doing? Relax. Just stay there. Just keep, keep stroking. Where are you going? Keep stroking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Something so comforting and something so powerful allows us to be a part of it. It's like being in love. It engulfs every part of us. It takes your breath away. You don't want to let go of that feeling forever. Thank you for being such a gentleman last night. Don't mention it. 
You know, truth be told, I didn't even think you want to show up today. I have a great responsibility. God told me that I was supposed to be doing this. <laughs> no, I think Buttercup likes you. I like Buttercup. Well, I got to get him groomed and dressed. Yeah. I guess I got to get back to shoveling. That's right. Work, work, work. me no 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 just uh, checking up on you and I think that's a good thing <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought I got out of the car already well no no didn't seem to happen but you know what uh -huh. I got a better idea for you I'm gonna be a car hop come on get on <laughs> let's go okay. come on uh. <laughs> I don't know if you can make it I hope you can <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> gonna make this a habit? I don't know. The way you jumped, I'm definitely not gonna make this a habit. <laughs> so what's on the menu for tonight? Ah, here you go. All right, Luann's famous club turkey sandwich with big baked potato chips. Ooh, a girl can get spoiled like well, this. Well, you know, I guess you're on my evil plan. <laughs> if you look in there, you might even see oatmeal raisin cooking. Here. Uh-huh. Oh. All right. So, uh, get some rest. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to do that. It's going to take me two days to recover. You know, if you're up to it this weekend, maybe you might want to catch a movie. Are you asking me out on a date? Uh, well, you know, best way I know how. Well, I won't go to the movies with you, but you can accompany me to church Sunday. Church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'll be right here with bells on. You don't have to look so excited. Oh, no, no, no. I'm excited. Yeah. Church. No, I'll be here. I'll be here. All right. All right. Sunday. Yep, Sunday. Thank you for the cookie. This is a uh, white church, right? Yes, Jesus loves me. And I love Jesus. <laughs> OK, wait, wait. You just forgive me. You know I'm joking. All right, uh, OK, all right. You may be seated. Thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you for the music. That was great. You know, believe it or not, the uh, attendance was actually up by two this week. So maybe if we all get here at the same time, we might have more people. You know, I'd like for the church to welcome Miss Houston, who's all the way from Dallas, and her friend. Uh, give her a great welcome. <laughs> you guys are stuck now. These doors only open from the outside. Come on all the way up to the front here, guys. 
Yeah, it's actually softer up here. It doesn't get used much. Come on down. <laughs> you know, a good friend of mine told me that one of his sheep was moving to Red Springs. It was in need of a, a really good shepherd to make the transition smooth. I accepted that honor. He also told me something about Miss Houston that was a little refreshing. Uh, do you mind if I share with the congregation? Faith accepted a vision from God that her calling was to move to Red Springs and help the children on the steps of Faith Farm. Now, that's spectacular, but what I find even more spectacular is the action of God. Then my good friend went on to tell me that Faith doesn't have a great rapport with children or animals. And she wasn't even a regular attendee at her previous church. Now, I have assurance that Faith will be here every Sunday, but the miracle is that God uses us all in different ways. We don't have to be pew members or, or career saints for God to speak to us. In fact, my sermon today asked the question, would you know God's voice if he spoke to you? I think that's something we all need to ask ourselves. So let's open up our Bibles now. Hey, how are you? Sparkly. Thank you. Hi there. Thanks, sir. We'll see you later. Lovely service. Thank you. Thanks, Good message. Yeah, thanks, man. We'll see you later. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Are Hi. you guys? Yeah, your, your sermon, you were on fire today. Uh, I think you're being just a little too kind there. <laughs> You know, I, I think the congregation perked up when you two walked in. Yeah. A few members were sleeping around Bible study, just perked right up. That's funny. I think it was the first time I've heard one of my sermons. <laughs> you know, I've seen you around town, but I don't know your name. I'm, I'm sorry, Marshall Lee. Marshall. Are you Dorothy's grandson? Actually, yes, I am. The well, one and only. How is your grandmother? She mean as ever. Well, <laughs> hey, she wouldn't be Mrs. Dorothy if she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll come back and visit us, won't you? Oh, yes, sir. Great. Faith, uh, Pastor Brooks tells me that you have an angelic voice. He's exaggerating a little bit. But... Well, I'd like to put in just a small request. Okay. Um, I've been really wanting to kind of branch out with our music lately. Just kind of, I don't know, add more styles and just kind of, I don't know, broaden a little bit. I just want to build things up and build some excitement going. I just think you'd be perfect with that. Would you mind? Sure. Huh? Yeah. Uh, that was easy. Please don't leave until everyone has a chance to introduce themselves. All right, and I'm gonna call uh, Pastor Brooks and let him know I learned something. But just don't call him from his porch. He's never gonna let that go. Not a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Not a chance. And let's go. Yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs> so snacks Bye. outside? Uh, no snacks. If you brought some, oh, okay. some out there. No, yeah. no, no, it's no. fine. No. Oh, hush, girl. I'll uh, get that coin and put it over there on the table. Mm. Now, why are you so late? Well, uh, I was in church. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big Mama, you okay? Well, give uh. me some water. Is, is it your heart, Big Mama? I've been trying for years to get you to go to church. I know Jesus Christ is going to have to come oh, and get you. Goodness, I can't, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Look, Big Mama, this is Faith Houston. She's from Dallas. My name is Dorothy. But everybody called me Big Mama. I was just fooling with him. Oh, you are too much. <laughs> OK. Well, listen, have a seat anywhere. The food and the conversation's all free. <laughs> I like that. Lord, church. Ah, yeah, church. <laughs> I can't believe you scared me like that, Big Mama. I think I aged 15 years. <laughs> when I see Cheryl dump the kids on you again. Well, you know your sister. Work, work, work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I hear him right? You from Dallas? Who is him? Oh, hush, boy. <laughs> yes. Well, what church do you attend? In Dallas, I've been going to Mount Tabor Baptist Church, but here I've been going to Pastor Olson's church. Oh. On First Street. <laughs> That's a good pastor. You got insurance? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. Big Mama, she don't go for the job. She goes straight for I'm the night. I'm not going to tell you to be quiet no more. <laughs> no, ma'am. Yeah. She looks like a nice woman, Marshall. Got you to go to church. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's the food. Well, Big Mama say you all right. You all right? Father. Bless this food and bless this family. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. Amen. Amen. And what, Miss Giggles? <laughs> what? What? Has it? Has anybody ever told you that your your grandmother looks like the woman from Soul Food? 
Huh? No, she doesn't look like the woman from Soul Food. Yes, yeah, she does. Oh, come on, really? Yes. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. No, I don't see that at all. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? Maybe I'll tell her she'll probably get a kick out of it. Yeah, Big Mama would get a kick out of it. I had a good time today. You know what? I had a really, really great time, too. Yeah. You know, it's the first time I've ever been on a first date at church. <laughs> it was pretty nice. It was, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess I better turn in. You let me get the door for you, at least. I'm gonna need to pick up the pace. Our job agreement is based on your cleaning out stalls, feeding the horses, as well as grooming them. But the most important part is the children. Those children depend on us to do our job every day. I'll keep up. I haven't seen you interact with one child since you've been here. Uh, it seems your focus has been other places. I'm just trying to do my job. Last man who had this job did it in half the time, and you still need to work with the children. Can you handle that? I'll be up to speed tomorrow. I hope so. Hey, thought you might want to grab some dinner. I need your help. I need a crash course on how to work with the horses from dressing them to brushing them down. <laughs> you know, there is no cliff note version. Please. Bill's gonna fire me if I don't. Okay, all right. All right. First thing you wanna do is you wanna respect the horse. Trust has got to be established. Take Buttercup, for instance. 1,200 pounds, power and grace in that body, but at the same time, I act just like a child. One kick from that magnificent beast I'll kill you instantly. Now, you already got a fear of animals. So you got to get over that quickly, all right? Oh. Because they can sense it. How do I do that? Think of somebody trying to hurt somebody you love. You don't think about it, you just react. You got to control the horse, and mostly by the reins, all right? With a firm hand. Not abusive, but firm. You and uh, Buttercup already have a rapport, so you got to continue to build that relationship. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. First things first. I'm gonna put the pad next to the horse's skin. That's the pad? There you go. Okay. There you go, nice and easy. Okay. And I wanna get the saddle. Uh-huh. Like so. Yeah. There we go. And I wanna make sure. The mane is not underneath, so when you're riding, the horse doesn't get uncomfortable. We always want to keep this on top. We will let this down. There we go. Put that down and the girth. So, I would take the girth right here. There we go. We'll just step back a little bit. There we go. We want this girth to be nice. And tight, yeah. But we don't want it too tight where it irritates the horse because they irritate a horse. Ooh, that is not a fun horse. Now, all right, how are you catching up with all this so far? You holding up good? It's a lot of information, but but I'm getting it. Next important step. When you're walking behind the horse, you always want to touch the horse just like you're doing right there. That lets the horse know that you're there so the horse doesn't get spooked. You don't want to get kicked. Got it. If you forget just about everything I just told you, you don't want to ever forget that one. I got it. <laughs> All right? I'm going to give you this hat. My daddy gave me this hat. Nothing ever, ever happened to me on a horse. Nothing but good things wearing this hat. Now, this hat is yours. All right? Okay. All right. All right, I think you're ready.
Does she know this starts at 7 p.m.? Hi, sorry I'm late. I'm fake. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Let's just get to practice. But on behalf of the choir, we are so excited. We welcome you with open arms. Um, we hear that the pastor is going to make you head of the choir. It's so exciting. It, it feels like joyful noise choir or a sister act. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't quite put it like that, but, but we'll see. So what is your favorite song? A Mighty Fortress is Our God. OK. I, I don't know that one. Um, oh, how about Lord, I Come Home? OK, let's try something different. Actually, let's try Amazing Grace. Everybody knows Amazing Grace, right? I lead the majority of songs for the choir. Perfect. All right, so let me hear your rendition. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. That's awesome, awesome. A little room for improvement. Anybody else want to try? OK. Can you sing? Oh, no. No, no, no. You on your own. Uh, but, you know, I did text uh, somebody, and I think help is right on the way. They should be here in, like, a few minutes. Thank you. OK, so why don't we practice a little bit until they arrive? OK, so. Amazing grace. Amazing. Hey! <laughs> there goes my nephews. Hey, now they started in Georgia, all the way in California, putting it down. They call themselves the Jackie Boys. <laughs> so, okay. All right, good, good, good. good. I'm gonna need you to go up there, anoint them. Okay. Okay. All right, so can I hear? Found it. What's going on? What up? What's up? Give me some. Give me... Okay. All right. No. Can I hear your rendition of Amazing Grace? Sure, no problem. Absolutely. Come on, nephews. Give it to them. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Yeah. I once was lost, oh. but now I'm found. Ooh, yeah. once blind, but now I see. Take your time, yeah. take your time. So, <laughs> well, I think you can tell better than anyone else she's becoming a little more than a friend. Mm -hmm. I didn't think she'd last a week. Probably wouldn't have if it hadn't been for you. Nah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. Mm -hmm. You know, she's been sleeping in the barn the past few nights. And she's gonna make a believe out of you yet. <laughs> oh yeah, she's grown on you. Down goes Fraser.
<laughs> How are oh, you? I'm doing good. Good, good. Is this for me? This is my table? That's your table. <laughs> That's my favorite. We're waiting on you. Where you been? Oh, I got that job at Steps of Faith. Oh, really? How is <laughs> yeah. it? The hardest work that I've ever done in my life. Hey, well, we got a uh, dishwashing position open back there. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, but I will hold on there a little bit longer. All right, well, what will you be having today? I want a chicken fry steak with double mashed potatoes and a slice of apple pie. Oh, OK. You got a grown man's appetite today, huh? <laughs> yeah, when you have a grown man's job, you eat like one. I hear you. All right, what are you going to have to drink? Give me a big, huge lemonade. <laughs> yes. All right. All right, coming right up to All you. right, it's good to see you. Likewise. I'm hungry. Tell them to hurry up. All right. I'm talking about. You know what? I think we should just stop right there because I'm not going to be able to beat that at all. Thank you, Faith, so much. You uh, you definitely brought out the best in our choir. All right, guys, open up uh, your Bibles to Matthew 13, 1 through 13. In today's sermon, we're going to address sowing good seed onto good ground. See that star up there? Mm -hmm. I got that star every night. And I always just wonder what allows it to grow so bright. kind of does something to me. You know, I never asked you, uh, why is it that you're single? Or <laughs> are you single? Ah, well, my mother asked me that every time I talked to her. You know, I just, I just had different priorities. It wasn't, it wasn't on the top of my list at that time. Hmm. Yeah. So, what about you? Oh, me? I'm single. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I, uh, well, I got tired of using that excuse that men like to use that I'm just a man chasing all these women. And uh, I don't know, I'm about to finally spend time with myself and focus on the important things at the ranch. Mm. Yeah. So what is it that attracts you to me? Well, right off your smile. Absolutely. And the way you said, first time I met you, faith works. <laughs> faith works. <laughs> yeah, faith, faith works. Faith works. Yeah. But as time went on, I have to be honest, uh, that would also be shared with your heart. How so? It's the way you opened up to me and showed me who you really were. Whoa, whoa. Tell me what you did. I, I put the pad on the horse's skin and then the saddle on top of the horse. As you can see, I connected the lead rope. You made sure the girth was tight? Yes, absolutely double checked twice. Good. Faye, I need you to be a sidewalker today. I still have to prepare the rest of the horses. Faith, eventually you're gonna have to work with the children. I will, I promise. Tomorrow! I don't want any excuses! I'll be ready!
Marshall nut now. I'm too tired to eat. Come back later. Better have a juicy T-bone steak with an apple pie. Oh, yeah, you I will not. Uh, and who is this, Marshall? <gasps> hey. Oh. Oh, uh-uh. Mm. Back up. <laughs> Come on. Come on in. Oh, don't worry about the whole Marshall thing. And what are you doing here? Well, I just came here to surprise you. Ah, well, I am definitely pleasantly surprised. So, tell me, how are things going? <sighs> and honey, why do you stink? Uh-uh. Because yeah, I just got in. I haven't had a chance to get in the shower yet. Well, you, you smell like a pig pen. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hungry? I am starving. Oh, I know this little restaurant that sells really? the best country pride steak. Sounds good. All right. I'm ready. Okay. But good. but you need to go find you some soap and water. <laughs> Shut up. Where is it? <laughs> that way. Here, help me. Help me take this this boot off. I can't <laughs> reach it. <laughs> Act like you fit this on me as a hook. Okay. Ready? Yes. You ready? Go. Ah, Thank you. <laughs> Go on to the bathroom. I don't know why you fall for that trick every time. Oh. <laughs> Have my pants dirty. Favorite pants. Oh, this place. So this is the place. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hi, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you can sit. Okay. You can sit in my oh, seat. In your seat, OK. <laughs> hi. Nicole, this is my baby sister, Angela. Angela, this is Nicole. It's nice to meet you, Angela. Likewise. <laughs> you know, Faith says that you guys have the best chicken fried steak in the whole town. Oh, yes. so you want too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I got you. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. OK. Y'all want some tea? Yes. All right. So where's my dinner? <laughs> Oh, well, you know, I invited you. However, I thought you'd be in a deep sleep right now. Why are you awake? <laughs> thought I was, too, but my baby sister showed up at my doorstep. Your sister? My little baby sister. Oh, why don't you two come over and join me? Yeah? Absolutely. OK. All right. Hey, you know she got our tea, right? Yes. I really like Nicole. She is so nice. Good, good, mm. good. Get your stuff. I want you to meet somebody. OK. Right, 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 okay, right. okay. What? What? Where are we going? Meet somebody. Yes, yes. Where are we going? Marshall, Ma I want you to meet my baby sister, Angela. <laughs> Angela, this is Marshall. Well, it's nice to meet you, baby sister Angela. <laughs> For some reason, I want to shout out, we are Marshall. Well, you could uh, shout out we are Marshall, but uh, they might kick us out. Uh, yeah, no, God, sit down. He's cute. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Oh. Uh, two ladies have just made my night. Mm -hmm. So, how long will you be in town? Oh, just a couple of days. Mm -hmm. But, um, real question. How do you guys know each other? Um, well, we're well, co-workers okay. and... Okay. You yeah, got approved. <laughs> Stop embarrassing me. This is good. Oh, oh. Ooh, see, look. Look, look, look. Uh, Nikki, yes. uh, would you, you mind uh, you. putting the food on my tab? Uh, is that right? OK. Yeah, behave yourself. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Please, it would be my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you. You're welcome. OK. I know you ate, but I'm about to dig in. <laughs> she seems to be coming along well. She's great. With the horses. She won't go near the children. She always makes some excuse to disappear. I'll talk to her. By the way, I want the company to pay for her to get certified. That's a huge commitment and a lot of money. I think you're letting your emotions get the best of you. 
You might be right. But I'm gonna follow my instincts on this one. What makes you think she's got what it takes to do this kind of work? First off, we're not using her in the right way. We got her working in the barn. She's an accountant. She needs to be in the office taking care of payroll. So, we'll hire somebody else to take care of the barn this week. It's your company. But you asked me to make sure the children come first and to keep the doors open. That's right. She's gonna have to do both jobs till I can hire somebody else. We'll find somebody in a week. You tell her about the certification. I will. Right after she works with the children. Fair enough. You know, it's not just your head you're putting on the chopping block. Mine's lined up right next to yours if this doesn't work out. See, we're much more than an idea over here. I mean, we really, really help people. Now, you know, our kids are mostly our mainstay, but we also have 20 active adults ranging from the ages of 18 to 65. So for us, it's all about equine assistance. Now, our staff consists of two therapists. We work with over 30 kids annually, but we never, we never work with more than three kids at a time. And we may be four years new. Our mission is, is quality over quantity, which brings us up to you and what this ranch would like to accomplish. We want to hire on a hypotherapist. That way we'd be able to work with, with people with cerebral palsy, autism, learning disabilities, speech disorders, make us a much more effective ranch. And you got here, you were afraid of horses, huh? Yeah. Now I look at you and Buttercup. You're practically inseparable. So imagine how much inspiration that would give to all those children that are just looking for a little bit of hope. I want you to think about it, all right? Really think about it. All right. OK, so. Tell me again, because I don't understand. What if I mess up and one of those kids gets hurt? Faith, honey, you moved to a whole new city and you got a job without anybody's help. Girl, I'm sure you could get over this. I hope so. Yeah. All you need is a good night's sleep and then you'll be fine. Hey, hey, remember? God said that this was your purpose. Hmm? Huh? You're right. Yes. I wish the big sister is. Looks like I. <laughs> <laughs> you really have to leave tomorrow? Yeah. I'm due back at work at 10. I really enjoyed you being here. I'm glad I could come down. Mm. Oh, you know something? What? That Marshall? Girl, he is fine. What'd you say? Oh, he's fine. I mean, who knows? Mama might be getting them grandchildren sooner than she thinks, huh? <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared! You're doing great, Emily. <laughs> Sit up tall. They're right there to help you. That's right. Doing well. We'll let you do her. You got lots of people there helping you. Okay. Sl Buttercup, slow down a little bit. <laughs> All right. Jim, what just happened? I don't know. I don't know, Buttercup. I'm like, what did you say? Jim, you got him? <laughs> hey, thanks. Wait, wait. Oh, God, I got to go. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bell, not now. Why? 
because this isn't for me, all right? What is it for you? Just all of this, the, the kids, the farm. It's just not for me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down and just talk to me, OK? Hey, why don't you just come, come on, take a moment and just talk what? to me. What do you want? Did you see what happened today? Yes. I know what happened. I could have hurt that kid. Yeah, but you didn't. Yeah, but I could Look, have. it wasn't your fault, OK? And these kids know the difference between pity and compassion. You told us that God sent you to our farm. I was wrong. He was wrong. Why would God send me here when he knew I would fail? And what you think running away is going to solve anything? I'm scared, Marshall, OK? That's fine if you scared. and that's fine if you scared. We all get scared. Okay? You leaving now changes nothing. You come so far in such a short time. Look, I get it. It's cool. Faith. Where does that leave us? I don't know, Marsha. I need time to think. I just, I just need a little time. I don't know. You were going to talk to her. Oh, I tried. Staff, try again. Do you know that your daughter has been on that couch for a week, and I haven't seen her take as much as a slice of bread? I need you to talk to your daughter. Mm. Honey, mm -hmm. I just need you to be the, the kind and loving, compassionate father that you always are. Oh, please. Oh, <laughs> and then? Go talk to your daughter first. And then? <laughs> we'll see. Faith? What's the matter, sweetheart? Come on now. Come on, Faith. What's the matter? We, we've been trying to wait until you were ready to talk. But it's been a week, and your mother and I were worried. I, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do what? I just. I couldn't do it today. Babe. You guys were right. I'm, I'm not good with children. Why would God send me someplace that he knew I was going to fail, Daddy? Why? God doesn't make mistakes. Well, he did this time. Faith. Look at me. Look at me. Daddy, I... Come on now. Listen, God said his word would not come back to him void. But it shall accomplish all that he pleases. And it shall prosper in the thing for which he sent it. Yeah, but you you guys didn't even believe you didn't even believe me when I told you what God said to me. Now, now I didn't say I didn't believe you. But you said what the blimp. And then all of you guys sat there. Faith, and... Faith, you have to understand my job as a husband and as a father is to protect my family. When you are away from me, I can't protect you. I don't know, Daddy. 
Maybe I was wrong. I don't think so. How do you know? You sat right down over there at that table. You looked me in my eyes. And you told me and your mother that you heard him clear as we're talking to you right now. Am I correct? Yes, but... There are no buts. Now, everything God sends you to do is its not going to be easy. However, with him, you can accomplish all things. Why does he make things so hard? Because he doesn't want a whole lot of weak Christians walking around here. I guess he's trying to make me into Hercules. <laughs> Listen. You overcame your fear of animals. Maybe God wants you to overcome your fear of children. That might be part of his plan. I think it's time for you to pick yourself up and go and get what God has for you. Yes, sir. Daddy? Yes, sweetheart? Thank you. Anytime. Well, sorry for losing my head and leaving. What do you want, Faith? Marshall's not here. I didn't come here for Marshall. I came here to get my job back and to make everything right. Walk with me. Keep up. Marshall's dad and his brother Patrick are buried here. His dad ran this place back before it was Steps of Faith Ranch. You know, Faith, when you first came here, I thought you were one of those mission seekers. Mission seeker? People who try to build themselves up by traveling around the world, helping people. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm far from that. To be honest, I, I probably went to church maybe once a month before I moved here. That's news. <laughs> My family thought I was crazy when I told them that God spoke to me. You know why I ride every morning? I want to make sure I pray at least once a day. So I have the strength and wisdom to help those kids. When I'm on that horse, I feel the wind in my face. I see the sun peeking through, painting the sky red and purple. And I realize I'm here to do more than just think about myself. What we do is special. When you see a child walk or talk for the first time, it's like a glimpse of God. This ranch means everything to Marshall and me. I understand. No, I don't think you do. Marshall founded Steps of Faith Ranch. It's his calling. His brother Patrick was autistic. He needed a lot of help when he was a kid. And it wasn't always easy on Marshall. He left home when he was a teenager. Didn't come back till after his dad died. He didn't know anything about running a ranch. That's why I'm here. You know the reason I didn't fire you? Because of Marshall. He put his neck on the line for you. He never questioned anything I did. He thought you were the missing piece. He had a dream that one day you two would run this place together. I feel like I let everybody down. Faith, do you really want to commit to helping these kids? Yes. Then you need to become a licensed therapist, trained and registered. 
takes at least three years. I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> Guess we've heard that before. <laughs> I understand on your last job you were an accountant. Yes, I did payroll, amongst other things. I can use someone in the office. Yes. Now go find Marshall. I don't know where to begin. I think you might find him at his grandmother's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I'm gonna put you to work shoveling. <laughs> Please, no. How are you? Well, come right on in. Hi. Uh. Big Mama, do you know where I can find Marshall? I'm down at the church, I think. OK, thank you. Where are you going? To find him. Uh, baby, women don't chase men. Let him come to you. But I really, really, really need to talk to him. Uh, baby, he comes here every Sunday for dinner, and I don't hardly think he's going to stop now. Come on, help me fix dinner. Yes, ma'am. What are you doing here? Um, I needed to see you. You need to see me? Why? I wanted to try to, try to explain what happened. You want to explain how you just left? I was confused. You are confused. I know that uh, sorry does not help everything, but I, I would like to try to make it up to you, even if it takes a lifetime. What happens the next time you get confused? I'm not perfect. I'm a work in progress. I know that I'm going to make more mistakes, but I will do my best to try to make it up to you as soon as possible. You are my best friend. And I am madly in love with you. And what about the children in the farm? No one will work harder than me with those kids on that farm. I've already spoken to Belle, and she's hired me back. No. She didn't hire you back. I did. I just needed to hear you say. Boy, you better go on and kiss that girl and drag her to the altar. Let's eat. <laughs> I helped cook, so. Did you? I did. <laughs> so I hope it's good. <laughs> A child with ASD such as Levi, our first goal is to make sure he's not afraid of the horses. If he doesn't cry or stops crying in the first 15 minutes of the process, he's a good candidate for the program. <sighs> Levi is severely withdrawn. It's like he's in his own little world. We've been to every doctor and specialist. No one has an answer. I just don't want to get our hopes up. If you give us a chance, I think you will see a remarkable difference. It won't happen overnight, but it will happen. We've seen it time and time again. What if he gets hurt? I can assure you, safety is our first priority. We have a staff that is very well trained, and we have the best hippotherapy program in the country. What, Mom? Levi? Levi? Want go see horse? 
It's okay. Levi, it's Levi? okay. Levi? Want to go see horse? Levi, stop. Shh. Go see horse. It's okay. Okay. You can go. Okay. Yeah. Levi, meet my friend Buttercup. Church with Amy, then she introduced. 